Hi, in this video we are going to talk about some statistical functions of Excel which are sum if, count if and average if and then we will see sum ifs, count ifs and average ifs. So these functions are advanced features or advanced function. So let's see how we can use them. So right here I have written some data, my dummy data where you can see in one column I have names, then in one column I have days and then I have numbers also. So sum if and count if and average if works uh, something like if you have certain criteria or condition and based on that you want to sum, count or average your numbers. So how you can do that? So suppose you have a condition written over here which is sum of numbers less than 50. So here in this number column uh, I want to sum all those numbers which are less than 50. Right now as you can see the numbers are written in ascending order from 10 to 90 so you can easily actually uh, sum them right. You can add them 10, 20 plus 30, 60 plus 40, 100 right. But if they are not written in ascending order or not in a particular order so how you can sum them. So then you can use a function which is sumf. So suppose in this cell if I start typing my function then I will explain you what is the syntax equals to sum if and then if I open my bracket or parenthesis then you can see that I can see my uh, syntax now. So Excel is asking me for range criteria and then sum range but sum range is written in square brackets so it is optional we can ignore, ignore it for this example. I will explain it in another example. Right now it is asking me for range and criteria right. So what is my range? So this is my range right. So I need to give the range and then comma. Now what is the criteria? As I have mentioned I need to sum uh, the numbers which are less than 50. So in double quotes I will type the less than symbol and 50 and then close the bracket. Now if I hit enter as I already told you the numbers which are less than 50 are 10, 20, 30 and 40. The sum of these numbers are 100 right. So I am expecting my answer to be 100. So if I hit enter I will get my answer as 100 which is absolutely right. So this is how you can use sum if function based on two things range and your criteria right. Now second scenario is sum of numbers against Monday as you can see that uh, here I have written the name of days right and there I have numbers as you can see against each day I have a number. So right now in this scenario it is asking me to sum all those numbers which are written against Monday. Purposely I have colored each cell or each range which have Monday and the number together right. So it will be very easy for you to understand. So if I verbally sum them so as you can see there are three common cells which have a Monday and a number. So that is 10, 80 and 90 which came the sum came out to be 180 right. So here in this cell if I start typing my function as equals to sum if open parenthesis. So what is the range? So always remember that you need to provide the range which belong to your criteria. In this case or in the first example we have given this range because my criteria is less than 50. Right now my criteria is Monday right I need to sum the numbers against Monday. So my criteria is Monday so I need to provide the range which contains the uh, all the names or the uh, criteria right. So this is my range uh, for this example. Now what is my criteria? It is Monday only. So I can type double, uh, in double quotes Monday or I can give the cell reference also. So here I have written words uh, like name and Monday. So if I click on this cell it will take the cell reference. Now it is asking me for the third criteria which is sum range. So what is the range from where you want to sum the numbers? So this is my sum range right. So this that's why it is an optional feature. So whenever you are going to use multiple uh, columns or cells then you are going to use this optional feature. So I will provide the sum range and then close the parenthesis. As I have told you uh, three cells contain Monday and numbers each uh, in uh, with each other. So the sum I am expecting is 10, 90, 100 plus 80, 180. So if I hit enter the sum came out to be 180 which is absolutely correct. Now uh, the third scenario this is about how you can use sum if right with uh, some range and without some range.
Now, if I want to count the number of cells which contains numbers less than 50. So, this is your count if function. If you only want to know how many cells contain the numbers or the specified criteria. So, here in this cell, if I start typing count if and then open parenthesis. So, it will ask you only two things range and then criteria. So, my range is this only the numbers in the cells then it is asking me for the criteria so in double quotes i can type less than 50 and then close the parentheses now if i hit enter then you can see that it is showing me four why because there are only four cells which contains numbers less than 50. now how we can use average if so from these example you have understood the basic syntax is same but they are providing different values, right? So, in this case, if I start typing average if, so the basic syntax is also same in this case also, range criteria and then in optional part, average range. So, if I have only one condition, so average of numbers less than 50, so I need to provide only two things, range and criteria. So, what is my range? My range is this, then comma, what is my criteria? less than 50 so i can type in double quotes less than 50 and then close the parenthesis so what would be my average so as we know the sum of these four cells which contains less than 50 numbers is 100 and divided by 4 is 25 so 25 should be my average if i hit enter so 25 is coming out the value here also so which is absolutely correct so this is how you can use sum if count if and average if now uh, a pro tip if you don't want to put uh, your criteria again and again and uh, you don't want it to be fixed what you can do is uh, you can just type your criteria in one cell suppose here if i type less than 50 so instead of typing my criteria again and again i can just use cell reference so, my criteria is written over here. I have given the cell reference. If I hit enter, I will get the same answer. Now, what is the benefit? If I change my criteria, suppose instead of less than 50, if I type greater than 50, so the answer will change and you don't need to type the formula again. As you can see, the average is coming out to be 75. So, this is how you can use cell range, right? Uh, cell reference. Then, let's talk about some ifs count ifs and average ifs so suppose you need to uh, use multiple conditions or multiple columns so how you can you do that so suppose in this case if it is asking me to sum the numbers belonging to monday and noah in the previous example we have seen how we can do the sum of numbers which are against monday but here in this case, it is asking me to do the sum of numbers which are against Monday and Noah both. So, here I have two criteria, two ranges, right? So, if I start typing my formula here, which is sum ifs, sum ifs, and then open the parentheses. So, now I can see my syntax, which is sum range, then criteria range 1, then criteria 1 then comma criteria range to criteria 2 so what is the sum range so i need to sum the numbers only right so this is my sum range that is uh, absolutely correct what is the criteria range 1 so i need to check for two things monday and noah these two cells contain these two uh, things like here i can see the days here i can see the names so my first criteria range is this one right which contains monday and what is criteria 1? Monday only. Then I need to provide uh, criteria range 2. So, what is my criteria range 2? This, uh, this range is my criteria range 2. And what is criteria 2? It is NOAA only. So, here first I will provide the sum range. So, these cells are my sum range, right? Then what is criteria 1? Criteria range 1. So, this is my criteria range 1, comma. What is my criteria 1? It is Monday. So, I will use the cell reference here. Comma, what is my criteria range 2? Now, 
these cells are my criteria range to what is my criteria to it is no only if you have more than two conditions then you can use them also because you can see the these are uh, uh, multiple condition you can put multiple conditions in it so right now i have only two conditions or two criteria now i will close the parentheses as you can see i have purposely colored those cells which have noa monday and then number right so the sum should be 10 plus 80 which is 90 right as you can see monday is also present in this cell but but here i don't have noa written right so that's why only two cells contain uh, the specified criteria which is 10 and 80 so the sum should came out to be 90 if i hit enter then you can see that the sum is coming out to be 90 only so that is perfectly fine now how i can use count ifs similarly how you use sum ifs you can use count ifs so if i start typing here count ifs and open the parenthesis now here i need to provide only two things criteria range one criteria one criteria range two criteria two i don't need to provide uh, the number uh, cell range right or some range so here i need to count of numbers where they have no and one day i need to just count the number of uh, cells which contains NOAA and Monday both. So what is my criteria range 1? This is so this is my criteria range 1 right. What is my criteria 1? NOAA. So I will use this cell reference comma. What is my criteria range 2? This is my criteria range 2 comma. What is my criteria 2? It is Monday. Now if I hit comma uh, if I close the bracket and hit enter so what is the answer i am expecting it is two only right if i hit enter so it is showing me two only which is absolutely correct now how i can use average function average ifs function so here i need to average numbers belonging to monday and noah only so two numbers are there 10 and 80 what is the sum 90 what should be the average 90 divided by 2 45 right so the syntax is similar uh, 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 as of some ifs so if I start typing my function as average ifs open parenthesis first average range so this is my range then comma criteria one range so what is the criteria Monday and Noah so this is my criteria one range comma criteria one is Monday so I will select Monday here then I need to provide criteria range 2. This is my criteria range 2. Then comma criteria 2 which is NOAA. And then close the parentheses. Now what is the answer I am expecting? 45. And if I hit enter, I will get 45 as my answer. So these are uh, advanced statistical functions. Sum if, count if, average if and then sum ifs, count ifs and average ifs. So these are very helpful functions and very useful so you just need to remember them if you remember one of them or if you start typing and uh, remember the syntax then you can use them easily these are very helpful so that's all for this video thank you